Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to measure true and apparent defect in a case of PBC neck. For this, it is important to mark the nearby bony landmarks. Symphysis menti is marked in the midline. Angle of the mandible is marked on the both sides. And these points are joined to form a line in the superior aspect. Inferiorly, suprasternal notch is marked. Tips of acromion process are marked on both the sides inferiorly with the patient in maximum extinction at the point of maximum contracture a transverse line is drawn depicting the line of incision these points and lines are drawn in a paper for better understanding abc is the line of incision and fishtailing is done at the end of the incision with the length of one third of the length of incision and angle of 45 degree. Here, the distances between the bony landmarks and the line of incision and fish tailing are measured. From the symphysis menti to the incision, from the tip of acromion process to the fish tailing, and from the suprasternal notch to the midpoint of the line of incision and fish tailing. By the arc method with the distance measuring from the angle of the mandible and fish tailing, an arc is drawn and it is intersected by an another arc from the symphysis menti to form the point D. In the same way, point D, A, F, E, C and G are created on a normal individual of same age, sex and build. By marking these points on a normal individual, it gives the idea of apparent defect.